Probably about 20 years ago, I made a very strong decision that this was what I wanted to do as a job. And my grandfather was quite an artistic chap and used to have a lot of art in his house. And my dad um, and my grandfather for, for many years had a fine art shipping company. Okay. So I used to see Boigles, Canalettos, Warhols, literally on a daily basis. Yeah, I didn't pay much attention to it, but they were there, you know. I mean, very recently, possibly in the last three, four years, um, I got very into the constructivists and the vorticists and, you know, people like Malevich, people like Van Duesberg, you know, Ben Nicholson, Hepworth, you know, all these, all these amazing modernist artists, painters, sculptors, that make incredible art um, and have made incredible art. And, you know, a lot of this is like, almost a hundred years ago sure, sure. you know it's not it's not now you know we we live in such a like you say it's such a digital fast-paced age that, you know you can literally go online and see these things constantly but when you see them in the flesh when you see the cracks and the, the dementia of time yeah. on these paintings and these artworks it, it it really brings home the fact that people were doing stuff so long ago and even before then yeah. I think most artists that are successful are measured on how high their profile is, alas. Right. Um, and has all that changed because of social media as well? Has it spread? No, I think that's been the case for quite some time. Being an artist is, is a lot more than what you create. Being an artist is being a person. That's why you call that's why the term is being an artist. Um, so I suppose the more people live up to that that mindset. I think the more they can actually be artists than someone like Grayson Perry, for example. You know, a lot of people just think it's a crazy dude who dresses like Shirley Temple. But that's him, he's being an artist. Yeah. He also makes amazing artwork. Sure. I think the, the art was an interesting, fickle foe. And I just wish that the art world and the people who make it spin would let it spin a little bit faster not to try and control it so much. Yeah, and one artist, I think, is possibly one of the most cutting edge artists out there at the moment is Steve Moore. And Steve Moore works with wood, concrete, masking tape, um, sandpaper. And I don't think there's anyone doing what he's doing. So, I mean, I, I think he's due a really big break and I think if anyone will do it, he will do it. And cars for me, um, got lots of things. So I have a, a very interesting exhibition with Shock One. There's a, an Agents of Change group show in Marrakesh, which I'm very excited about. I've never been to Marrakesh. A trip to New York to paint a very good wall which is on the cars, possible Reykjavik trip. So it's all kind of building up and then at the end of the year, I'm gonna do my first London solo show in about four years. Okay. So, probably at Screen Gallery. Any last thing you'd like to say? Um, I think people should be kind to each other.